What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Sunday fun day. Well, different type of fun day today. Daddy daughter fun day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got a snail. Yeah. He's snail, out. dirt, and rocks. Every little girl's dream. Anyway, we're not going for a run today. Um, we decided to take this weekend off. We all both got some stuff on the go, as I said he's with the video out. earlier this week. Daddy, so. Daddy, he's out. Oh, he's trying to get out. Look, he wants to get away. That's why. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So I think. I'm just gonna give the bike a quick wash up. I don't have any shiny stuff. I have to go to the store and get some. But I uh, give it a quick wash up after the last run. And it occurred to me that I haven't pulled the belt cover off in a long time. So I'm gonna pull that off and have a look and just make sure that everything looks okay with the clutches and the belt and all that. Let's do it. Look, he is. He's pooping. Everything is about poop. Yeah. All right, as you can see, it's not too bad after the last run. The regular stuff cutting the shocks and whatnot and all that jazz. So, let's see if we can get it cleaned up. Like I said, I'm out of the tire foam to get it super clean or super shiny, so to speak. Um, but, still got to get it cleaned up, and then we're going to take the belt cover off and check the belt. Daddy, What's he doing? <gasps> Put him in the water. Put him back in the water. Look, quick. Oh, there you go. He doesn't like it in the cup, baby. He needs to be in the water, okay? Why? Because he, he needs moisture. He needs moisture. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Step one, pick all the big chunks off. Step two, zoom cleaner. Okay, so people ask me all the time about how I get the bike so clean and I think well, part of it is just that we use like the shiny things like SC1 or tire foam or whatever on it after when it's done. Um, but besides that, you probably saw in the time lapse there, I went around it and back around it several times with the pressure washer because I find that, that um, when you're just blowing stuff from one side to the other, what ends up happening is you think you got one side clean, but it's not really clean until you get around the other side and you see all the stuff that you blew from one side to the other side. So one key secret of it is of getting it like look super clean is to just keep going around it back and forth several several times. All right, pro tip. Okay, so they're all loose up by hand at the wrench. How you doing, baby? Okay. Gentle. Moment of truth. Let's see how this bad boy's doing in here. Yeah, looks good. A little bit of dust and stuff, but belt is a little bit glazed, but not too bad just yet. 
don't see any pieces of belt or anything here. That's good. Everything looks fine so far. I'll probably run this belt another little while and then get a new one. Like I said, it's a little bit green. Opinions vary on whether that matters or not, but I never had any issues. She's still pulling good. So let's just give them a little clean up and then we'll uh, get back to business. Everything looks good. I don't see any visible issues. Nothing loose. It looks good. Good. Good stuff. Alright, let's start her up to see if there's any issues that we can see. shifts gears like a dream and that's why because the belt doesn't creep and it's set up properly it is probably time for a new belt and i did have one here well which i carry in the bike as my spare of course which is one of gerard's uh i forget what they're called now tbx cv tech makes them actually it's a brand new belt but it doesn't look like it it's been in my bag a little while now it's got some dirt and grime on it so I don't feel like putting that one on. I'll just keep that as a spare, get me home sort of belt. Uh, and there's a Maverick belt on it right now. So I think I'm just going to go this week and get a new Maverick belt. Put that on. But this one, to be fair, looks like it's in pretty good shape so far. I don't see any teeth missing or anything like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good, but I gotta say. I don't see any real issues with it so far. Like, you know, a lot of guys, uh, especially those Honda Gang guys, always talking about how... Uh, belt drive is unreliable and whatnot but it's really not the case at all i mean you guys been watching our videos for probably a year now if you're if you were subscribed to the channel and you've noticed that there's we, we've never had a belt issue um can -Am's factory clutching leaves something to be desired to be fair so that's part of the reason why people are blowing uh, belts all the time but if you spend the cash and get yourself a set of these beauties then no more belt trouble anyway everything looks good here like I said, there's nothing in the belt cover. Clutches all look good. They need a proper cleaning and whatnot. But like I said, I'm about due now to send the bike back to Gerard for another servicing. So when I do, I'm going to have him pull the clutches and give him a proper cleanup. He's got all the right tools for that stuff and that whatnot. So I'm not going to bother with that because I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> all I know is I have to ride and break it, like I always say. Anyway, okay, let's get it back together. Cool. Okay. Pro tip. <laughs> when you put this thing back on, make sure that the seal seated properly. You got silicone them in actually in place. I think Gerard said he did on his, but I don't have any silicone right now, so I can't. But I have been uh, known from time to time to rush putting this back on. Me in a rush, I know, hey. Um, and anyway, if it's not seated properly, then you're going to get leaks. So let's get this sucker back in place here. So much easier in a renegade than it is on my. I was on my Outlander.
All right, as I said, as I was saying earlier, I only ever use the impact to just take up the slack on them. As you can see, they're all still really loose. Um, you can turn on my hand. I learned the hard way over the years that it's not a really good idea to use an impact on these things. So let's get them tightened up by hand. Okay, now that we got them all tightened, or not tightened, but in with the impact, as you can see, they're all still hand turned tight because you don't want to burn them out, mess up a thread. Okay, all done. All put back together. Like I said, it was just more of an inspection, really. I'm not doing anything here. I just haven't looked in there in a long time. I want to make sure everything was okay. Don't seem to have any any major issues going on in there. Everything seems tight. Belt seems like it's in good shape. I mean, it's about a year old belt, really. But, you know, again, the STM clutches really extend the life of the belt. No, like, it's crazy. Anyway, that's it for that. Well, as I wasn't anticipating cleaning the bike today, it appears I only got a little bit of tire foam left. I don't think it's going to be enough to do all the bike, but I'll do. I'll give it a little coat. See how that goes. Well, that's it for this video. Short sweep for today. Like I said, nothing exciting. Like us out ripping up on the uh, on the bogs or whatever, but. Can't all be winners, right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.